Firstly, I want to congratulate for those who have bought their machine hardware. Welcome to the machine gang. And for those who haven't bought their machine hardware, I'm guessing you guys are considering using machine. Well, guess what? Today we are going to talk about machine 2.17 so that you guys can get inspired and make your own music or even your own beat. Yo, it's your man Vibe Synthetic. Today, I'll be talking about Machine 2.17. Now, Machine is a flagship sequencer software by Native Instruments. I must say this has been the best sequencer that I've ever used in my music production journey, and I've been using Machine since 2.7 version. But I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today to talk about the user interface of Machine so that you guys can understand and apply it to make your own music and beats. Six things that we're gonna run through today is basically the browser, the sounds, the groups, the arrangement, the scenes, and also the mixer window. Now, first thing that you want to look at is the browser interface in Machine because this is where you can locate all of your sounds, your loops, and even your presets for all the plugins that are available in Machine. Now, the browser is easy to use because there are certain filter sets that you can click on and you can find the sounds that you really want based on a couple of clicks. Now, let's have a look at that. Now on the right here is the browser section. You can always tap over here to search for all the sounds that you want. One thing that I like about the browser section is the fact that you can filter them based on the instruments that you want to use. Example, I would want to have a percussion and I can always find a tambourine and you can always play it through the browser itself. And you can load up different kinds of uh, drum drum instruments as well. One thing that you can play around is double click on this and it will load up into your group for machine. So let's just try uh, this kit called the Carrot Cake Kit. And as you can see in your sound section, all of the sounds are loaded. Next thing is gonna be the sounds and groups within machine. Now, groups are the collective folders for sounds and sounds are basically 16 slots within a group. And you can load any sound, any sample audio format into the sound of machine itself, or you can load a VST plugin within the sound in the group. Now, how it works is basically when you have the 16 sound in the signs to a group, which means that you can create a drum kit out of a group, which has 16 parts of the drum itself. And then in groups, you can separate from different kinds of instruments like the drums, or even the synths, or even the bass. That's what I usually do for my workflow. So let's have a look at sounds and groups in machine. So the Karakit kit, we have 16 sounds over here. 16 sounds meaning that in one group, as you can see, this A1 group Karakit kit, there's 16 sounds. Each sound slot is assigned to a sample. So if you look at all of this, at the top here, that's the properties of each sound. Within the sound itself, you can add effects, you can do some sampling, you can add some EQ. Let's just play it on my machine right now. You can even drag your own samples in. Say, if you want to change the uh, kick carrot, you can always go back to the browser over here. You can find under one shots, you can always find drums, you can open for kicks. Or maybe this sounds nice, you like this one. You can always drag this and change this over here. And it'll be called kick a brand. And this is how the sample sounds like. Say you want to modify it, you can always open the sampler within it. You can see this waveform icon and you can go to edit and you can see the kick samples over here. So you can adjust the end point and the start points to taste. Say you just want to make the kick a shorter kick, you can make it sound more sharper like this. This sampler within each sound slot is very powerful because you can also control some of the pitch envelopes, effects filter, the modulation, the voice settings, polyphony, you can change the pitch band. There's a lot of things that you can do within one sound slot itself. So now that you got another group, it's called the carrot cake group, you want to create another group, you can always have this plus icon over here and you can create a second group. I will probably move to something like a bass synth or a different kind of instruments, you know, you can always drag it over here and you can play it. And of course, you can turn on the piano roll. There's this piano icon over here and you can play all the notes. You can always draw them. So drawing them in machine is pretty simple. Just click the pencil icon over here and then you can start drawing, right? Now, once you have all the sounds loaded up within each group, you guys can create a pattern within each group. Each group has a different set of patterns 
If you have more than one groups, there are a couple of group sets of patterns. Now, these patterns can be come together and form an arrangement within the ideas tab, or I would say the scene tab of machine. The scene tab basically consolidates all of your different patterns from different groups to create a different kind of arrangement within your project. You can always click on this, where there's this uh, 16 pad icon just below the group's uh, name. Click here and you can always create one pattern. You can adjust the length of this pattern over here. It sets to auto, so auto basically means that whenever you start recording, it will just stop wherever you stop recording. You can also set it to different start points. You can double click on it and change it to four beats or four bars. I'm gonna just put a four to the floor kind of kick in this pattern. Just put a clap. Right, so you got one pattern over there. You can always create another pattern by going up here. Just double click, and this is pattern two. And this time you might wanna change your patterns, you know, maybe something like that. I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial so that you guys can understand how to use machine. You got pattern one and pattern two. So how does pattern works? Pattern works well in the ideas tab. This over here at the top is called the ideas tab. Now in group A1, you have two patterns. Group B, I can have a something more cool. Uh, let's let's go for a chordish kind of. Rock. So I can drag it in there and I can play it, All right? And I change the length to four again. So if you look at this, I'm gonna have pattern one in group B and then pattern two in group A. So let's just play it. Man. Okay, that's the most suckiest beat I ever listened to. But for the sake of this tutorial, you know, you can always play around with these patterns and you can always create more scenes. So, so basically scene one, you have pattern two and pattern one from group A and B respectively. Scene two, you can have pattern one and pattern one on group A and B respectively. So with these scenes, you can create multiple kinds of arrangement or ideas and probably you might want to test it uh, on other groups as well, create more patterns. So this is basically very powerful because it allows you to expand your creativity with different kind of sound groups um, that, that you're gonna play with, you know, different kind of arrangement. But once you have your scene set it up, you can always load your scene into the arrangement view. You can also create clips within the arrangement view, which means it's a unique set of patterns just found in the arrangement view itself. If you were to click at this three bar icon over here at the top, this is what you call the arrangement view. Let's just rename this for the sake of this tutorial, drums, which is group A, and then group B is probably your piano pads. And group C, maybe I can have a, I don't know, miscellaneous sound, right? You can always add a scene by right-clicking it. You can add scene one, which is one scene, and then you can also add scene two. So you have different kinds of patterns going on over here. You can always reference it back over here on this ideas view. And then in the arrangement view, you can always add them. Let's just turn on the cycle mode, which is this gray bar over here. Or you can click this button over here to turn on the cycle mode. You can always replay that number of bars that you've already done. And let's just play it one more time. In the arrangement view, you can also create specific unique kind of patterns just for this view because sometimes you don't want to get into idea mode, you just want to play and, and change something up uh, within the arrangement view. You can change this scene as a uh, clip. So let me just convert this to clips. And you right click on the scene, you can change it as converted to clips. Now when it's converted to clips, it's not attached to any scene because when you click over here at this ideas view, your scene views have each pattern assigned to it, but in terms of the arrangement view, this is where things get really more flexible in terms of making music because you can take the pattern, convert it to clip, and once you convert it, you can always change it. You can add all of this stuff and you can just press alternate and click and hold and drag it, drag it over to the other side to create a new unique pattern. Whatever pattern that you create in clip one, 
Clip 2 is not going to get affected by it as you compare to in scene itself, the patterns whenever you adjust in one, one scene, scene 2 will also follow that same pattern that you adjusted in scene 1. This is very important especially if you want to create like drops or you want to minus off some hi-hats or some kicks at this point, create some drama or tension within your arrangement. This is very useful in machine. Lastly, we're going to look at is the mixer view. The mixer view basically shows every plugin that has been inserted into each sound or each group within the project itself. This is where you can control the individual levels of the sound or even the whole group as well. Because in the mixer view, you get a lot of routing options. You also get a lot of effects options and you can mute or solo your groups and different sounds within it. The mixer window is tap in by these three fader knobs at the top and you can see all of your effects that are within the group so the drums itself there is a flanger there's a bit delay there's ice distortion maximizer the piano there's no effects so basically in your piano you can also load effects over here you can add a reverb you can also add a compressor. So this is very flexible in terms of adding effects to the whole group itself. Now, what if you want to add effects to your sound within the mixer view? Well, all you need to do is to double click on it and you can see all your individual sounds that have their own effects attached to it within this, uh, with this small window tab over here. You can click on it and you can see all of your effects and within the group you can also adjust some of the levels you know you can always change some of these levels to to adjust better in your mix in this case i'm adjusting the levels of the drums but other than that you can also adjust the whole level of the group which is over here just double click on it and you can adjust the whole level of this of this group as well now before you go i just want to say that in order to power up your level as a machine user you might want to integrate it with your own daw now for me, I use Logic Pro 10 and I have integrated machine in Logic Pro 10 in terms of my workflow to create the best of both worlds within the two powerful softwares. Now, if you guys are interested to watch how to integrate machine and Logic Pro 10, I have the video link up here so that you guys can learn how to do it. Otherwise, I also have a $1 template where I have the machine and Logic Pro integrated as a multi-output VST. You guys can check it out, link in the description. So I hope this has shed some light about using Machine 2.17. Now if you guys really like my video, remember to give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell button so that you guys will get notified whenever I release new machine videos. I'm Vibe Synthetic once again, it's been a pleasure to be here. Till the next video everyone, peace!